Welcome back to another horrible stream VOD. Today we're checking out Terranil. I'm AA, an actual person on the internet. Uh, this game is about taking a barren wasteland and adding back the natural elements to it by terraforming and then adding new variety of plants and water, increasing the humidity and the habitability. Uh, I'm going to have this VOD in text, uh, indexed if, in case if you want to skip to any part because it does th take place in levels. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through a, a few of the first phases. Uh, anyway, uh, it's kind of like a reverse Factorio because until the wildlife returns, you're like uh, uh, building up all these terraforming buildings. We're actually helping the, the world rather than uh, destroying it in Factorio. Looks like a colony manager, but it's a bit more of a puzzle game. Although I generally don't like puzzle games, this one is very cool and has a great aesthetic and I, I love it. Um, I, I'm about an hour in, but I can tell that it's the kind of thing I'd like. Um, many solutions and ways going, of going about it, though. Use your creativity. Uh, just extremely satisfying visuals and sounds. And I didn't receive a key. I just bought it with my own money since I've been looking at this for a few years and it looks really cool. Um, anyway, let's go. Terra Nil. Uh, helping the world? Uh, oh, by buying a key. Yes, there we go. Flexing my having bought a key on you again, am I? Um, yes. I feel like that's that's good to disclose. What is it, twenty four ninety nine? It's good. It's good. I mean, like, you know, that's some dough. But also, they've been working on it for years. I've seen this game for so long, and I've been waiting. Oh, that was the last of the leaves. How sad. Very, very sad. Conveniently, there was a book about restoring the earth on the ground. Yes, that's right. Oh my god, it's a 3D object. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so the book, there's like a, a sort of a story, but no one cares. We're trying to reforest the earth. It's like, pass the book on to the next person. What a nice book. Anyway, I'm going to take ecologist because I am normal. I'm normal AF. There, I said it. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, I had to confirm. There we are. Okay, I have confirmed it. We'll, we will go through the tutorial briefly because I do think it's nice for, like, holding your hands slightly. But I'll get through it all in a few seconds because it's the most basic one of all time. Anyway, we are currently on the wasteland. Hang on, just give me one second. I'm going to turn back on alerts. All right, there we go. We are in the wasteland. Here we are. Very sad. I'm not sure if I can bring up the name of the square under here. No, I don't believe I can. But we can see what types of grounds there are here. So we have rock. Rock is good for placing wind turbines. We could do it here, but the tutorial wants us to do it here because I'm normal. Um, I am so normal. So we gotta get toxin scrubbers, and oh my god, just... Oh, look what happens. Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, so we'll place these in... Ooh, yeah. I mean, this isn't a very efficient placement because look at all of the red overlap we're getting. So we're going to need to be very shapely here, but... Ah, the ground is rising and it's cubicle. Um, and then we take the, what are these things called? I never really remember their names, but yeah, toxin scrubber and irrigators. So an irrigator does exactly what you think it does. And it, it uh, there we go. Plants, well, it waters, which, as you know, water leads to plants. And that's what science says. So again, a very inefficient placement, but we can rotate these and... Obviously many ways. I am now feeling very insecure because I know that I struggle with puzzle games when I play them on Twitch, which is why I played this. But basically the whole goal of this game is to start increasing the coverage and then we can move on to higher tiers of what do you call environmentalization. A guy with a rubber toe? Roberto. Oh my god. <laughs> what a zinger. Zaladar3, thank you very much for the prime. Oh god. I wasn't I thought it was gonna be like a nature joke. But thank you, I, I do appreciate it. Target greener coverage. Oh, whoops, whoops a daisy. Okay, so we've pretty much exhausted this. Our lives are terrible and we're out of wasteland. So that is unfortunate, but we can yet do more. We are, yes, indeed able to do more. Um, so let's go ahead and put down some more wind turbines. Another, oh my gosh, look, there are other rocks in the, in the tutorial of all places. And we will put these in the right places now. So I want to space these like equidistant, or I don't know. Does it make me sound smart when I say equidistant? Actually, Professor? Jeez. That wasn't even a good voice crack. Guys, I know what I sound like. I know that wasn't a very good voice crack. I'm sorry. 
But yeah, basically we're spending the resource points. Or I don't really know what these call are called. I guess we'll call them like Animal Crossing Tom Nook. Uh offers you can't refuse, right? Isn't that Tom Nook's symbol or that's the Animal Crossing? I'd remind I mean not that Animal Crossing like Do you think that Tom Nook loves the leaf? Or do you think that he was part of the secret Naruto leaf village? Now that I think of it. Honestly, an opportune question. But yeah, obviously we're going to go through and do exactly the same thing that we did in the tutorial. Oh my god. It's as if the map is opening up and there are so many more possibilities. Although, what do you know? It's a new procedurally generated map. Oh my god. I just exploded with pleasure. I received a text message. Oh, it's my boy. That's right, I got a text from my boy. All right, so this is a new and unique challenge. Oh, I'm pretty sure Tom Nook was a, not a ninja. How do you know? Weren't there ninjas in Animal Crossing? We'll get on our Animal Crossing vibe soon enough. I'm trying to fit in with the Gen Z guys. I just say the word vibe over and over again and hope that it works in the sentence I happen to slip it into. All right, so let's go ahead and put down some wind turbines. There we go, amazing. Wow, it's as if I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I have some idea of what's going on around me. There are some major mistakes you can make here uh, or things that just take longer, which hopefully I won't do any of them now. But why are we not unlocking? Okay, so we need to reclaim more greenery if we wanna unlock the next tool in our arsenal. Okay, let's go ahead and just make sure we get the seeds. We can, like, micromanage this, and we could go 134 and yada, 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 but I'm going to just, like, be a little bit more of a smooth brain here because I don't want to keep everyone with me doing math. Otherwise, this will just turn into Texas Instruments. You can play this either the big brain way or the, like, five head way. Oh, wait, I just said the same. There we go. There I go off again with the stream of blindness. Oh, my God. Oh, geez, the amount of pleasure I am experiencing is insane. Honestly, this game does the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, the sounds and the, the visual effects right. So we, if we put these irrigators, is that what this is called? No, a water pump, I'm sorry, that was the irrigator. If we put the water pump on higher ground, then it, obviously it creates more water. I don't know how that works, but it does, so don't question it. We're going to go ahead and put this eh, maybe like here because then we get the extent of that river. Rivers do come in handy though because if we want to start expanding over to here, we're going to need to create more. Oh my god, I am... Uh, ex <sighs> it would be against TOS if I told you how I am feeling right now. So I'll just say that I'm feeling good. Um, oh my god, wow. The serotonin release is really intense in this game, though I think that is self-evident. Let's just put in more rivers because I want to fill everything. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I accidentally put it in the wrong spot. Am I able to undo? Oh my god, it's as if I have a time machine. Wow. Aren't I amazing? Look at all of that crap. That's good. That is really good. Let's put another windmill there. Now, we are using up our environment points as we go. I don't really know what to call those, so I'm just going to call them whatever I feel like at the moment I say it. But, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put in more of the dirt. Now, one thing I'm going to just go ahead and show, and then I'll undo it. Do I have a limited number of undos? Well, I'll just show you it. Okay, if I put in this irrigator and then I put in this like dirt machine I don't actually oh damn it I did it well whatever I'm going to have to live with my mistake uh, why does God hate me it's okay self-acceptance we're working on it anyway um here we go we've got now a lot of dirt but yes as you can see the grass wasn't like seeded over the radius so everything happens once which is why it is a puzzle game you know what I've... That's what I've been trying to say throughout this stream. I am an irrigator. Take that back. That's offensive. 
Reminds me of old German games like Genius Task Force Biology. Ooh, that's kind of cool. A bit of Anno, maybe. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the inspiration. What do you guys think are the game inspirations here? Because obviously there are some game inspirations. I get a lot of Timberborn vibe from that, but I'm also trying to think of... I don't want to say that either, because I know Terra Nil has been in development for like a really long time, and you might go like, oh, Beaver Time, Timberborn. And I would go like, ho oh, ho, not so fast. Oh, damn it. Hang on a second. I totally made a mistake there. Uh, what was I trying to do again? I was trying to get more... Ah, oh, my god. I was having such a great time that I lost track of the whole entire point of the game. Wow. How sad. Okay, let's see. We can... Okay, good. We can raise the eco score by doing that. So, we really... Let's make sure I fully understand this. Yeah, like, we need to get more green. More green is going to create more time and more value. We were just doing only dirt. Okay, so yeah. Like I said, there are two ways to play every game. You know, the smart way, and then the, like, I just had a stressful day way. And honestly, I know only stress in my life now as a gamer. It's unfortunate. There we go. Oh, oh, whoops, I misclicked right there. Yes, that's right. Even I make mistakes. Oh my god, this is the best part. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shoot out a river. Well, I'm going to shoot a meteor out of this machine, which looks like a large bug. But it goes, Nium. And then look at that stuff. That's good. Mm. So the water goes out into the land. And then the waterbenders, I have no idea what to even say anymore. But what we're going to do next is we're going to take the river and we're going to turn it into rock with this calcifier because that's how science works. So there we go. So now we've created rock with the calcifier at the water. Amazing. And now we're going to go ahead and we can put in more wind turbines because obviously this was all out of range. Now we can get this area in range. Then we can get more dirt and stuff and then we can use that to plant more seeds and then just everything is better when we do that. I, I sometimes don't even know what to say in these games because I just feel like I am so full of pleasure for the entire time. Whoops, I did it again. I for lost track of what I was doing. There we are. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, no, where is a more opportune placement? We do want to raise the number, but if we get to 132, let's go over... We're going to unlock the next part in a second because we want to... We want to do this. Give me a second. 49, 50, 55. Let's do that. Okay, do we have enough now? We have 138, so we can indeed afford this. Okay, I want to get one real smooth boy right here. So let's go like this. Smooth boy coming right up. 175. Oh my god, look at that. Mmm, wow, lots of grass. 90%, 90%, um, hmm, but we are filling up with nature, and that is indeed good. Let's put one here, and then we'll, like, circumvent the dirt right there. Wow. Amazing. 177. You know what this is kind of reminding me of? I don't want to try hard too much, because this is like when you play Words with Friends. Remember the game app, Words with Friends? And then you just use an app to look up what's the word you're supposed to put in. And that's not ethical to your friends. That's more like Words with Enemies. So now we're putting hydroponiums in. So we're on to the next phase. So we've finished off the stupid planting of dirt. We can always go back here and we can, like, do more of it if we want to. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So I'm going to maybe do a little bit more. 75, so that gives me more Tom Nook score. You know what I mean? Um, keep seeing this game advertised and thinking of getting it. I guess I'm just adding to the subliminal advertiser messaging, but yeah. Fortunately, I did buy it with my own money, so... Um... I don't know, I feel like that's a resounding endorsement. Um, let's go ahead and put in a windmill there, and then we will do this. Why do I keep harping on that? <laughs> I bought it with my allowance, guys. Man, this reminds me of when I st was thinking of starting a Let's Play channel when I was 16 years old, and then I didn't. Ironically, I didn't. I should have, because I didn't know this would become my... But yes, that would have been with my allowance. 
There we go. Oh my god. Plant me. Plant me. Hmm. Why does everything sound dirty when I say it? <laughs> Maybe that's just like the internet for you. I don't know what I, I'm an idiot. All right, so oh look, wildlife is returning. Are we have we got the uh, humidification notice uh, uh, yet? No, I don't believe we have. Okay, so wildlife will begin to return, and oh my God, look at this wetlands! It's almost as if you're in Florida. Oh look at that! There's like some sort of IKEA dunkaroo happening right here. Or it's not really like that. What is that game, Flotsam? That oh, that's what this kind of reminds me of. It's a little bit like Flotsam hydroponics I suppose it is hydroponics but just it looks like they're overwatering the plants and causing like mechanical damage to them yes from my mom you're right my mom would give me my allowance um, mostly when I was a, uh, in high school I would just spend that on food until I got a job seems like a waste now you know could have bought uh, games. I was looking into DS games now. I've been getting into collecting some of the old library because I wanted to do some uh, stuff on them. Oh my god, DS games are so expensive now. Jesus Christ, it's insane. Flotsam a character on SpongeBob. Oh no, Flotsam was, um, oh, maybe it is. Maybe it is. I'm not honestly sure. Well, normally it's Flotsam and Jetsam. You can't have one without the other. They always seem to appear together. However, um... Let me just do a little bit more of this. Flotsam was a game about, uh... It was basically... Raft. In colony management form. Like, you're collecting garbage on the ocean. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> now everyone asking to be planted. So, we're going here, we're trying to establish a wetland. There won't be any jokes about the wetland because that would be inappropriate. And I am above all of that, obviously. But here we go. Oh my god. We can project into the future. We will go beyond the wetland and come to Finbos. Which is obviously a scientific term I know all about. Finbos. Finbofides. Um, here we go. Whoops. Paused accidentally. That wasn't in the script for the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and plant some beehives. I'm pretty sure we can just do this here. So, yeah, we need planted grass, but it might be worth it here to just, like, make sure we have grass out the wazoo. Mm, plus 8, plus 13. That's a pretty decent placement right there. I know it costs money, but we need to make an investment if we want to see the land flourish. Flourishing. So let's go ahead and do, th uh, yeah, that as well. And then we'll just make sure that all of the plants are fully planted. And oh my god. Look at that. That's nice. Mmm. More greenery. And then we plant the beehive. Because then the bees have access to the grass, which is obviously what they need. For some reason. And then that creates this horribly flammable environment. Now this is going to get... Um, it seemingly counterintuitive. This really threw me off when I was doing the tutorial before. Bofa. Oh my god, it's Bofa. Uh, the first time I thought that somebody said... Because I was getting scammed last year. You know how about how I was getting scammed. Their scam callers were calling me on my phone. Uh, I thought Bofa was like Bank of America. But it was somebody saying uh, like a, a, a joke about nuts, you know. About both Bofa. But I thought it was the bank, so... Here I am. A waste. Um, let's see, so we've got not all of Fib... What the hell? Oh, I didn't mean to do that there. whoops a daisy Okay, well, fortunately, I have this time machine. Hmm. The planting of the seeds. Oh, here we go. Man, I am so good at this. Oh my gosh, wow. Look how good I am. I do it for you. I do it for you guys. 113. Oh my god. It's kind of like got a Studio Ghibli vibe about it. Am I saying that right? Is it Studio Ghibli or is it Studio Ghibli? I don't... I've never really heard it pronounced. 
because usually I'm just in my room alone when I'm watching studio, that the studio that won't be named. Um, oh, you know what I'm also thinking of? It's got a, uh, it's pronounced GIF, GIF. <laughs> that is an, a very ironic answer. No, I once, t I one time walked into a bar with a Studio Ghibli shirt on and it, it received comments from both women and men. Yes, that's right. Actual women, chat. Actual women commenting on my fashion sense. Hey, hey, starting a fashion channel. What will you think of next? Now, I'm going to set everything that I just created on fire. Uh, the fire is going to spread awfully. And it's just going to look bad, so enjoy. Okay, so it gathers in the leaves, and then it just causes a massive fire. This doesn't set fire to the wetlands, but I'm kind of curious, will it? Yes, okay, indeed it will. Wow. Okay, I shouldn't have done it quite like that, but honestly, YOLO and F me. Uh, I should have controlled that fire slightly more, but that's why this is the first level. Um, as it turns out, you all thought that I failed. However, I still have all of this environment over here. Now, you can set the entire map on fire. I meant to do that, mostly. Uh, but now we're going to take the ash. Look at it. Uses nutritious ash. I don't understand how ash is nutritious, but apparently it is. Could it be used to create a forest? Do we have any scientists here? Yeah, it is kind of cool. Oh, really? That's kind of neat. The nutritious ash to create forests can only be built on a burnt building husk. So, you know, all of those ruins had a reason. Um, here we go. Oh, resources. All right, now we know what these things are called. Not Tom Nook. Root forest. Ashy nutrients, building husk. So we're going to go ahead and take one of these sad boy building husks. And let's just see where it is the best spot we could do this. We do want quite large forests. If we can get them 217, that's going to be hard to beat. 202, 215, 160. Good, okay, yeah, let's do 217. So, look, that is so cool. Most fertile lands in the world are close to volcanoes. Oh, you're right, that is kind of interesting. Now to think of it, like Hawaii is such a lush paradise of fauna and flora. Man, that is kind of cool. So what is our goal now? So we want to make sure that we have the areas in balance, right? So wetland, we have more than enough wetland. Um, I always have more than enough wetland. <laughs> um, and let's go ahead and do this. 69, 69%. 69%. <laughs> oh my god. It's almost as if I played this all in advance and then just scripted it. Okay, so now we have the forests. But now we need back, obviously, the Fibnos. Ash is just carbon and minerals, literal building blocks of live. Isn't that odd how, like, when some fire burns, but it also creates? Wow. It's as if it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Anyway, um, so what do we do now so we don't have enough f uh, Fibnos or whatever it is? And we need to, obviously, we need to go back in with the dirt. But I'm just going to be tactical here because I used to, or when I did this tutorial before, I just found myself shuffling around and recreating the same environments. Because now we have all three of the zones. We have the Fibnos, we have the wetlands, and we have the forests. Um, and then we're going to need to make them attractive and suitable to wildlife. And then we're going to need to go in and collect all of the components of the things we add. And, you know, this is too much machinery here. We're going to have to leave this environment. So let's go ahead and do... Oh, we don't really need any more arboretums. And then we'll go in and do... Uh, I really messed up there, didn't I? I just think Fibnos. Okay, so I'm going to need trees. So I want to make... It's good that I spread out these forests because now I'm going to need to plant beehives in the trees of the forest. And I do speak for the trees. So there is that that I have going for me. Although now we've wasted a little bit of ground and we could restart if we wanted to, if we got really stuck. But obviously, we would never get stuck. Um, here we go. So now we're going to add in... Let's see if we can get... We want a nice radius for the beehive to take over. Because we have enough wetlands. That's fine. But let's put that there. So that now I can go over here and get the beehive in this tree. That's nice. Mmm, I like that. Good. Okay, so now we're getting plenty of Fibnos. 
But see, we will actually lose Fibnos if we do this here. And we have plenty of resources. But yeah, if you really tie yourself up in knots, you can restart. Um, I obviously won't have to do that. We'll just do the... Oh, whoops. I made, m didn't make a mistake. There we go. Let's try to take over more of the building areas. And then we'll do this one. What's good is that there is actually, like, a, a skill. Um, or like, a rise of skill throughout the game. It took me about... Like a full hour to get through this the other night, but I think I got it done in a half hour now. Just because I didn't know how that worked, and... Well, I've learned, and isn't that amazing? And here we all are. We're all still alive. Well, most of us. Um... Mm, mm, 90, 84, 98, 100... Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as they're in the radius of the tree, I suppose. Because I... The, really, the bees will... I don't know, provide honey or fibnos, which obviously is what bees create, nearby the tree. So let's go back to the beehive, and we'll put the bees in the tree, and then the bees will create fibnos, as they do. Oh my god, look, there's so much fibnos around here. I'm going to explode. Hmm. 35. Oh my god, wow! I'm so proud of myself. I've accomplished nothing in life beyond this game. The reclaiming of this landscape will involve wind turbines for power toxin scrubbers to clean soil and water pumps to restore the rivers. And the steps to creating a temperate forest are not always straightforward. No, that's true. In my vast experience of creating forests. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We have this. Okay, so now the one last thing. I know what I'm doing here. Toxin scrubbers aren't needed for ashy soil. Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, apparently you're right. Thank you for that. I made that mistake. I did not need those toxin scrubbers. Thank you. So then I need to use those only at the very beginning. Wow, thank you. You just saved me some time. Regrass from ash. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, I can't believe you guys said that. Speed glass. Midashki. Thank you very much, guys. I did not know. I did not see that. Cool. Um. Okay, so what we need to do now... It's going to give us the other prompt in a minute. Because we're going to be checking out, making sure... Like, now we've pretty much made the environment look how we want to. There's a little bit more wasteland up here, but it's okay. Because we did our job. And so now we should admire it. It does look quite good. But the main thing that we're going to do is now we're going to take our ship. And we're going to Factorio away. I'm going to peace out. Have a good stream. Aww. Hype wave. Hope you had a good time. Thanks for coming out, Ocean Gun. I hope you enjoy the plush. Thanks for saying that. Uh, that's nice. And thank you for the 500 bits also. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, so basically the reclamation ship works like this. I get like a little bit of a Subnautica vibe here too, you know? Like reclaiming things and leaving the planet. I mean, it's factor. It's though a lot of games are like this now. Like very evolutionary and ecological. It's a, it's a nice spin. So basically what we're going to do here... Ooh, another one. Now you gotta make it rain. Oh, do we actually... Have we unlocked... Wait a minute, where is that? Yeah, usually there's a menu. I'm not sure if it comes up a little bit later here, but we will start to get more environmental effects. Um, actually, that's a good thing to mention. And thank you for the 300 bits, Ezekielbot. Uh, yeah, there will be, like, ferns growing on the rivers as we do more of this. I'm not sure why it didn't come up here, like, beyond these ferns. And sometimes, yeah, you can make it rain. You can put... I think more animals around and stuff like that. But it's cool if you can get it to work. It might be because I bypassed the tutorial. But oh well, we'll see it in the next stage. Hmm. Oh, and also Shoebox. Thank you very much for the 400 bits. I do appreciate it. We need to take everything. So now we're in cleanup mode. So we don't want to run out of time. That would be bad. Uh, but it does make me... Oddly nervous to do this. So we're going to need to put in these recyclers. And then we pack up our buildings. Okay, we're going to unlock the telescope in a minute. But yeah, let's put in the recyclers there. Because now we unlocked Mr. Boat. And Mr. Boat goes next to Mr. Ship. So this is... We're trying to build the ship to escape. Uh, from this region. But we need to reclaim 100% of the buildings that we put down. That's what this percentage is up here. Anyway, the boat is the only thing that can do that, because obviously that's what boats do. Uh, but we're going to need to... Uh, we can't get in range of some of these things. 
Actually, the boat will travel. Let's just have the boat. Go, boat, go. There it goes. No one manning it. I guess it's like a Tesla or something. There we go. It collects the thing into the, like, catheter. And then whatever that is. And that's the cult. Like, whatever that is. Uh, and then it brings it back to the ship. And does it actually build on the ship? Yeah. No, we get ship parts at certain percentages, I suppose. Hey, Frisky Cheese Pup. Thank you very much for the three months, too. Hmm. Go ahead and do another one of those. Now, these buildings are somewhat efficient. I'm trying to think of how to do it as efficiently as possible. Ideally, we want to gather up the buildings into the recyclers and then just take all of the recyclers out. So let's try to be... I think I have a better idea of what I'm doing now. I'm just going to slightly move over the recycler. The other thing we could do is shoot rivers inland, which is also a possibility. Oh yeah, the recyclers can't recycle other recycler buildings. Ah, uh, I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so this is a bit of a pain here, this part. I did find this part, like, slightly long in the gameplay loop. But on the other hand, too, um, it's very satisfying once we do get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this up here. Um, one there. Actually, can we just do it from here? Yeah, we're in range. Okay, yeah, these things don't really cost that much of the environment points to use, so let's just place a bunch of these. We'll send out Mr. Ship, and then send him back. The one thing is that if we encounter any waterfalls, we will be in danger. Uh, but I'm going to need to... Oh, no, I need to do a little bit more to unlock it. The next thing is kind of cool. 180. There... And sometimes these don't update as you go, but you just gotta be careful. So look at all of that being gathered therein. Nice. Hey, Bofa. Bofa D. Snuts. Thank you very much for the tier one sub. Do appreciate that. And Pop the DVF. You are hereby the, uh, charged with the crime the of being months. too gosh darn cute. The sentencing is three kisses. How do you plea? <laughs> uh, I thought we weren't going to get the law involved in this stream we had mentioned before. We won't refer to all of the activities uh, from earlier. But thank you very much for the 500 bits HP. I do appreciate that. That is incredibly cute. Um, <laughs> I hopefully you won't draw any more attention than needs to be drawn to any of that. Okay, here we go. We get Mr. Telescopes. Animal species. I know there are animals. Okay, I can explain this better than the game can. I was confused when I first did this, but it's quite straightforward. Okay, so before we leave, we need evidence that there are animals repopulating this place. Besides the fact that I can see birds. Look, they're right there. Get it? Sea birds? Like birds of the sea? Oh my god. So we're going to look for deer. Now, obviously you would never look for deer in the woods, because that's not where they are. Um... No, I happen to know that they're in, like, on planes. But, oh my god, look at them! There they are! Deer. Wow, they look pretty good. I don't know if I ever even noticed this before. Wow, they actually have models in the game. That's amazing. Yes. This is an acceptable place for the deer. But now we need to find... Oh my gosh, what is this animal? Oh my gosh, what is this animal? It's in a wetland. Uh, wait a minute, I'm forgetting what the other requirement is. What is the other requirement? Wetland. Uh, ugh. Oh no, maybe I won't be able to find it. Well, there are frogs. What are frogs? Oh, maybe are we near a forest here? Ooh, we are. Oh, and it's near the Fibnos. Whoops, my bad. Okay, so we've got Fibnos. I still am not finding the frogs that I need. I do like the frog sprite. It is quite good. Um, oh no, I need Marsh and Fibnos. whoops a daisy Oh, yes! Wow! Look at them! There they are! Wow. Jumping on water like Christ himself. Wow. That's amazing. Zesty dipping sauce! Hey, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. So now we have... Or they could be toads. Alright, enough of this. Now we're looking for a bear. It has kind of like this I spy vibe about it, you know? Oh my gosh, I just said the word vibe again. <laughs> what other zingers will I hit you with? 
I legitimately don't remember the other bear requirement, so I'm just gonna move on. That's too many requirements. Three requirements? I mean, come on. Okay, so now we find the goose. What is it? I think it's a goose. It needs water, obviously, as goose. Gooses need. I've never heard it pluralized. We could keep looking around for other things. Let's see what else there are. Look at the go gooses. Oh my god, look at this. So the wolf needs deer in order to be around. Wow, look at that. What else does it need? I guess it needs woods. So would I need to find the other ones? This is kind of interesting. I'm just going to do this really quick. Because I haven't found deer here. Oh, so I'm going to need to scan for deer. Here. Oh, look, and there are deer. So now if I see the... Wait a minute. Can I scan twice? That would suffice. And I found the timber wolf. Wow. So I found even more than I needed. Oh my gosh. Wow, I must be a good noodle or something. What is this? I legitimately don't even know what it is. Alright, enough of that. Enough animal scanning. Anyway, now we've proven... Quod erat demonstrat. That there are uh, animals in the region. It's time to go. It's time to enter the ship and probably kill those deer. That's probably what would happen. But yeah, we have 74% of the components. And now is when the game gets... Uh, honestly more annoying we have to oh whoops I forgot about the research center yep we'll put that down this will allow the finding out of things oh my god I forgot about this so this was where we had it yep here we go okay 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 yeah blah 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 climate manipulation um oh you know I haven't really used these too much oh I did not see this this is something I missed in the tutorial so we do have like formation of atmosphere and stuff like that. Wow, this is kind of cool. I didn't realize that I could do all this. Oh, this is neat. Hey, I'm learning now. Wow, look, so yeah, we're getting ferns on the riverbanks now by increasing the humidity. You thought it was unpleasant, but it was good. So what else do we have to unlock? We've already got wildflower bloom. I'm trying to see where that is. But yeah, I mean, this is like pretty much the gameplay loop is it just gets more and more bountiful and satisfying as you go. So I think it's a cool game. I I think it's neat. Uh, and if you disagree with me, well, then, uh, I don't know, pollute and play Factorio. Although I do like Factorio. Too close to another cloud cedar. Oh, you know what I had to do? I'm such a silly goose. You get it? It's a goose? Because there were geese before? Um, I am ra running out of jokes. We have uh, plus 11% humidity. This is kind of interesting. We have water We have fungi. It's too bad that it's fungi and not fun guy, because that would be such a great pun opportunity. He was a fun guy. Get it? Like, he was enjoyable to be around. And he was a fun guy. Oh my god. Wow, what a zinger that was. Ugh. Why am I so full of puns today? Anyway, let's get, uh, move on with the gameplay. Um, uh, I will take some more calcium formation. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't think that this part makes a difference. Like, you can get through with it if you don't do this. But I just want to see what the... Oh, we got the rain. Wow. Ooh. It would be great if there were some rain right now. I wonder what the water lilies look like. Let's let it happen. Oh my god, this is almost as sort of, uh, satisfying as Surviving Mars. You guys remember Surviving Mars? When we terraformed the whole planet? I think that was the coolest DLC for Surviving Mars. I was, like, overwhelmed with beauty when, oh my god, water lilies are blossoming. Look, there they go. Oh my god, it's as if we're in a Monet. Or is it Manet? No, it's Monet, but it's always confusing. Salmon Run? What the hell is that? Oh my, we have to find out. Have to. Let's just put in, I know I did destroy all of my windmills, but I'm going back now because I want to see. I want to see what could have been mom and dad. Damn it. I put that in the wrong spot. Uh, all right, let's do some more calcification. There we go, and windmill time, and then we do the... There we go. 
plus five percent. Oh, what do the salmon look like, though? Oh my god, is that them? No, that's the raindrops on the water. Where are the salmon? Do you think they'll get up on their two feet and get into running shoes? Oh, what is this? Something is happening. Oh my god, look! Wow, we're generating nature from nature. This is crazy. I don't even think that we terraformed that, guys. Look! Oh my god, the terraforming is happening on its own. Ugh. This is like that scene from Shawshank Redemption when Andy Dufresne finally falls in love with Morgan Freeman. I mean, escapes. Honestly, one of the best bromances in a film. Look, we can never run out of nature because we have so much of it. Wow, I didn't even know that you could unlock this. This is so cool. Oh my god, let's go again. So there are more scenarios that we'll get to. Anyway, I'm going to kind of zoom ahead to the end here. Where are we at? Mm, yeah, we need to get to this windmill, so we're going to shoot out a thing from here to the river. There we go. Okay, so shoot out from the river. Pew. Oh no, the rain stopped. I didn't know that that could happen. Um, oh well, oh well. Uh, now we need to do this again. Uh, I'm procrastinating. And then we'll do one of these. 160. Okay, I'm just going to clean up the rest of this because this is a little bit tedious this last part. I've already done everything. I feel like I should be able to end. But yeah, we've got to gather up every last machine, so I'm just going to skip ahead to the end here. Chad, I didn't know that could happen. That's so cool. I didn't even know that would be happening here. It's as if I'm learning the game too. Okay. Amazing. We have gathered the last of the buildings, and apparently this is only the case for the first level, but yeah, we have completely erased our stain on the earth. Not that we caused it, I don't know, we were just terraforming this planet, minding our own business. But now we can press the big red button, and oh my god, it turns out that a sentient plant was running the ship the whole time. That's kind of amazing. We will go into the air. Incredible. Our ship is taking off into the, oh my god. It's like it's taking the little boat back into its womb-like shelter of plant. Amazing. And we leave behind the deer, and we can admire the land that we, we just left horrible, basically, crop circles on. But we can <laughs> appreciate. I do like this. I mean, it invites the notion of savoring. And I, whether or not that's a good gameplay decision, I do think that this game is very cool. Um, and anyway, that's kind of like a taste of what's to come. But apparently there's a lot more in the game. And I've only done that level, but I got done with it a lot faster than I did the first time. So let's continue because there are many more environs to explore. Press F to appreciate. <laughs> so we have the world. This is oddly reminding me of World Box. Oh my gosh. The plants have taken over the loading bar. Yeah, but there's a lot of levels. I don't know how many there are, so disclaimer, I've done only that. But I feel like I got the main gameplay loop. We've got now, well, the last time we had, was it Fibnos, Wetland, and Forest? Uh, and a bunch of animals that no one cares about. And then we now have Beach, my, uh, Mangroves, Tropical Forest, and Coral Reef. Now, this part is kind of cool because we get a new type of water. We get, like, poop water that's in the uh, ocean. Which, uh, I've always wondered this ever since I was a kid. And obviously this is kind of a naive question because, like, you know, poop gets recycled back into nature and so on and so forth. But I was thinking to myself, like, you know, if we kept going on as human civilization, eventually wouldn't there just be poop everywhere? Like, poop? Because as far as I knew, poop just didn't go back to the environment. Like, why isn't the whole world... We've been around for so many years. Why isn't the whole world just poop everywhere? <laughs> like... And also graveyards, because, you know, they're not coming back to life. I thought that everyone was buried. Like, <laughs> for all time. I don't know why, just like, kids say the darndest things sometimes, but yeah. Hey, DJ Scallywag, thanks very much for the 300 bits. Okay, so here is the poop water. I don't know what it is, but I'm calling it that. 
Uh, oh, wait a minute. There is another name. Polluted ocean. It's poop water. It is. It's definitely. But apparently we have to use this, these toxin scrubbers only once. We'll need to be mindful, though, to make sure that we get irrigators in there. The poop in your room doesn't go away. <laughs> Uh, uh, ooh, salt and ocean water to create rock. Cool, so now we can get more environments. This is so sweet, it's... It is giving me that real, like, Discovery Subnautica vibe as I play through, though, you know? Just such a cool vibe about this game. You can tell that they really put a lot of effort into it. Like, um... I feel like... Sometimes gameplay projects like, or games like this, get lost in development. And then it's sort of like, oh, where is the game at? But I feel like this is just kind of a nice... They settled on it being like a like a puzzle game, and I think that that is... It's distinctive and different. You know, I mean, not everything needs to be a colony manager. I'll also say that, I mean, if you watch this channel in my inbox, I get so many keys sent to me of like, oh, this is like RimWorld, this is like RimWorld. And it's sort of like, ah, like, let's explore the other gameplay mechanisms, though. Or it's, I don't know, it's always neat when... People try out different stuff. But it's hard. I don't know, I'm such a snob for somebody who does it. Game design seems really hard, that is to say. That's that's really the thing I left out of this discussion, is game design, oh my god. It seems so hard to be a good game dev. Everyone's telling you what to do and everyone's an idiot. And, and they all hate it whenever you try to make anything. <laughs> that's basically a summation of game dev, or as it seems to me as an outsider. <laughs> Oh my god. But yeah, I, I think that this game out game came out pretty cool. Ooh, just pooping out more land. I mean water. So the regular water goes into the poop water and then it's just like subsumed by the poop. Because obviously poop is like Ice Nine in Kurt Vonnegut's Cat's Cradle. Anything that touches it turns to poop. Turn that poop, it, how does that vine go? Turn that poop into wine. I forgot about that vine. Okay, so we gotta get, uh, yeah, we gotta get plus 31. I guess we're really aiming for the sea. Let's go for the sea right here. Cool. Oh, we can actually up the amount if we go straight for the water. That is very cool. Huh. Mineralizer. So what do we, what is the requirement? Provides, crystallizes salt in ocean water to create rock. Let's see what this looks like. This is my first experience with this one. Okay, so we've got rock underneath. And then what do we do? Can we put anything on top of that? Can we put the... Oh, we can put on wind turbines. Thank God. Thank God. Uh, I don't know what to do next. I guess that's something I'm going to unlock, but I should probably stop being such an idiot. And let's do the gameplay the way it's supposed to be done. Um, uh, it's okay to go minus 15 here because we're going to get more land and we can get more seed territory. To spread my seed over the earth. Here we go. Mm, yeah. Minus 41, that doesn't feel so good. Well, good enough. We'll do that. Subsumed? I don't know, maybe subsumed wasn't the right word. Sometimes I just reach for the t You ever do this? You just reach- It's really, like, basically an illegal thing that I do. Jokes. I would never break the law at all. Um, but yeah, uh... You ever just reach for the top shelf with your word and you just get shot down because you picked the wrong word. And then... Everything is ruined. Basically, story of my life. Anyway, that is to say, I went to a high school when I was a kid that still kind of sticks with me. And at this place, they had a really good writing program, like really good English and stuff, which is part of where... I guess people know me for being erudite or something. I don't really find myself that... Well, I... Yeah, there I go. I just did it again. Anyway, everyone was always trying in class. It was like an all-boys school. And, uh... Everybody was trying to, like, impress the teachers, so people would say big words. And sometimes it would be great when somebody didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> because then they would just get owned so hard in class. So one time, one of our teachers just failed a guy <laughs> in front of all of us. Like, uh, for the day, not for good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we roasted him pretty hard. Yeah, going to all-boys high school is a, it's an adventure. 
Um, <laughs> oh my god. Sorry. Stories. Stories of youth. Stories of youth. They remain with me to this day. Hmm, we got negative. Got the AA plush. Hey, Sleagal, thank you very much for getting the AA plush. Ah. Actually, people have been tweeting me their pictures of them with the AA plush, and it's just been, like, kind of warm and cozy. Someone had a comb with their AA plush, like they were going to comb its hair. So now I think that needs to be added into the, the deep lore of the AA, of the ambiguous amphibian itself or himself. But yeah, a good time. I uh, looked it up, real world, big damn smooth. Oh, it is a real word. Oh, man. It's unfortunate that I was using the right word there. I think it's more interesting if I pick the wrong word. Here we go. So we're getting... We need to reclaim more ocean tiles. Oh, we need to reclaim the ocean tiles themselves. All right, I guess I'll allow it. I can just put this into the middle of the ocean. Nothing else required, though, right? Let's put in another one of these. And then we put in this thing. Oh, and then we can build this adjacent to the ocean. Oh my god, and I am exploding again. What is this? Sandbank creates a small island on which buildings can... Oh my god, look at it. That's cool. Look at the ocean gradually being removed of poop. So what happens here? We just get sand. And that's it. The fool builds his house on... What is it? Sand? Yeah, sand. The fool. Oh, the fool. Mm. Stop calling me silly. I'm not silly. There's nothing silly about me. Um, silly... Um, silly AA. Oh, the comb. Yeah. Yeah, somebody had like a comb in the background that, of the picture that they sent to me. I was like thinking to myself, I was like, yeah, to, to brush his hair with. It's nice. So, I'm trying to figure out how is this sand even going to be useful to me. We need more percentage here. Um, let's go ahead and just do... Oh, I see. Because then we can put a detoxifier into the ocean. And then we do this. And this is actually acceptable. Yes. Okay, so we'll need another one there. And then that's okay. Unfortunately, though, this is not a legal placement. Uh, oh, I guess we don't want to be in water that's too deep or something like that. So then we put... Okay, I almost ran out of room. And then, yes, we can barely still do it. We'll reclaim a little bit more water over here. Let's go for this. We put on a windmill there. Now, the thing that I'll say about this game is that... And the reason why I probably won't do too much more than this one video, unless if people really like it and want to see more, is I generally tend not to do these games because I don't think that they make for very, like, interesting or rich commentary much of the time. Um, at least for me, in terms of, like, logistical or thinking games. Games like Factorio and that, which technically Factorio is, like, logistics, I always find that I just describe my own thinking because I get so wrapped up in the game. You know, like right now I'm doing things, but it's almost like, it's almost like I'm doing my math homework when I'm playing the game, I sometimes feel. And I do get a little bit of guilt over that, you know. I can't sleep with myself at night. So I go to the e-girl who knows me and loves me and wants me to feel better, in the words of Wilford Brimley. One of my idols. Honestly, Wilford Brimley would have been, honestly, like the original content creator. Oh, my God. I've been watching so many Wilford Brimley videos because I just don't feel good. And I feel so much better when I see Wilford Brimley telling it like it is. There we go. Tropical. There we go. Man, now I have just visions of Wilford Brimley in my head. Okay, so, oh, my gosh, four phases. Wow, very cool. Have I ever tried There Are Billions? Yeah, I feel like I have an... I don't have an e-girl. I have an actual woman, of course. Uh, I do not, no. No, I'm still living the single life. If I had an e-girl, 
<laughs> Isn't that the Wilbur suit thing? Is it Wilbur soot or Wil? He will like leave comments. Wilbur soot is in my audience. I didn't, when I had like 200k subs, I was like, this guy's a big YouTuber. But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't really even know any of them. It was kind of funny. It's like larger creators will watch stuff like this. But yeah, he's a pretty. He's a pretty nice dude. He's into like uh, Rimworld and stuff. Very cool. Very cool to see YouTubers' interests blossoming. Blossoming. Anyway, wh why was I talking about suit? Suit? I don't even remember. All right, so we have combustors. Combustors burn surrounding vegetation to increase atmospheric temperature. Okay, so now we come into the need for not only humidity, but also heat. More carbon-dense vegetation is more effective. Okay, so yeah, probably like stuff that has more stuff in it because everything has carbon in it pretty much. Like we're on a carbon-based uh, planet. Organic means it contains carbon, right? And that's science or something like that. So we have to do the combustor. Um, where would we even put that? Plus three degrees Celsius, plus three degrees. Nothing here really seems that great for this. Uh, I mean, we're just burning grass. Can we get a forest up in any way right now? I doubt it. This wasn't going to give us a forest. I mean, this will give us more seed stuff. So we're just going to have to increase the temperature at the expense of basically everything. But what are our progress points? Um, uh, so we are going to need higher temperature everywhere here. Oh, so now we've got multiple requirements too. Very challenging. Very difficult. Let's first off get some irrigation going on. Or humidification. Oh my god, 20%! Jesus, I should have put the ocean into the atmosphere in the first place. Shit, now that I know that I can have that much, let's take 17, that's pretty good. My god, it's so humid here. This is funny, uh, back when I taught, uh, many of you guys know that I'm a former teacher. Um, there's like some very naive stuff that middle schoolers don't know. So they didn't know what humidity was. <laughs> like you forget that when you're a kid, you just forget basic facts. So they thought that like when stuff was humid, it was just hot, but they didn't understand that it was like, um, like water in the air, you know, or, I mean, that is like, wow, I, I don't understand what humidity is. <laughs> but yeah, like, isn't it funny the facts that you forget? that you didn't know when you were a kid. Oh my god. I still have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, ignore me as I commentate. <clears throat> we need to get up the atmospheric... I know, great segue. We need to get up the atmospheric temperature. So let's go ahead and... If we put this thing here, we can just burn all of this. Now, this is reminding me kind of of Surviving Mars, you know? Like, remember how in Surviving Mars, you just basically cause global warming in order to heat everything up? Wow, it just goes right in there. Wait a minute, what have we got now? So we've got, let's see if we can find it. Ivy overgrowth. Can you see it? If I click on it? Oh, that shows me the requirements. Okay, there we go. Humid, uh, generally humidity is hot and moist. Oh my gosh, you just got me to say hot and moist. <laughs> wow, <laughs> once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> oh geez, what do we get? Dragonflies, thunderstorm. Now we do want the thunderstorms, that might be the coolest. Some kids are just dumb. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But also, like, uh, I don't know, I thought I was pretty average in intelligence when I was a kid. And I thought that ultimate was a word, like, not ultimate, ultimate. Like with an N. Captures sand to form beaches and dunes. Must be built on a toxin scrubber. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna need that. Oh, so we're gonna need a toxin scrubber here. Okay, all right, I see how this is gonna work. We've already got the beach there. This looks like a great spot for a beach, don't you think? Minus 19. Oh, so we've gotta get the seeds first. So now we've got multiple requirements in here. Just when you thought that we were done. So I'm actually going to give up some of this. Uh, why, wait a minute, why do we want beaches? 
provides beach. Oh, cause we, wait a minute, we got, oh, we don't have any beach yet. Jesus Christ, we're gonna be here for a while trying to figure out how to get a beach. Minus 49, oh God. Well, that would give us the required amount of beach, right? This is such a dumb, like, <laughs> oh good, 31. Oh my God, look, oh wow. Take out your umbrella. Because we're going to have fun at the... I used to live near a beach, and I hate the beach. Look, they've even got, the, like, pylons for... Or, I don't know, a fence. That's not pylons. See, there I go with the reaching to the top shelf with the word thing. Look at that beach. Hmm. That's nice. Shade cloth pillar. What are these? Connected triangles form shady areas where tropical forest lives. Ooh! On the side of a cliff? This is kind of cool. It's just so creative, this game. Look at that. So we need to build them, uh, I suppose this looks like a cliff right here. So let's try like one, two. Oh my God. So we want to maximize the triangulation of the, oh, wow. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. Wow. You know, this is oddly relatable because I've tried to find plants that will grow in my house where there is no sunlight. And I wish I had that. Increases the salinity of the surrounding area, allowing the mangroves to flourish. Ooh, very cool, very cool. Um, Why did I just devolve into a dinosaur yell? Oh my god, the water is even more cerulean than before. Look at it go. The mangroves are coming. I think we could do another one of those. Yeah. Now, I'm still not really familiar with exactly what would... Like, optimize this? 48. 56. All I know is that bigger number go better. And maybe that's enough. Okay, we get the mangroves. Now it's time to add in the beach, but what do we have too much of? Not really anything. Tropical forest. Ooh, we get to make more tropical forests, though. Ah, uh, where is a big cliff? Where is a big cliff that we could take advantage of? Here we go. Let's go right, like here. And then another one. Oh, I could shift click that, right? That might be good. Oh, but we they can only go some max distance. Look at that. Okay, so we'll do there and then we'll do, oh my God, they can connect to the connection. Wow. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, and then it multiplies. See, this is why I don't play games like this on the main channels. I would just be going, oh, yeah, the whole time. And I would probably get in trouble if I did that, you know? But look at all the forests, man. That's nice. Even triangulating one another. D did I run out of room? I may have. I'm sorry. Minus seven. Okay, I'll take plus one. Not very much, but it's okay. I guess that's for the overall resource score, though. Not really a big deal. Yeah, let's go ahead and just confirm that. 75%, but I get a minus 10. I think that's minus 10 resources. But yeah, it brings us up to 79, because I'm just running out of... Naturally, I'm running out of room for forests. Okay, let's see this. So we are going to be at a solid zero. And yeah, we keep raising that. All right, so then confirmed. Illuminati confirmed. The forests are here. Uh, Coral Reef will worry about in a second. Mono, oh my gosh, it's like a Simpsons reference. Mono means one, rail means rail, right? Nodes in range of one another connect to allow the movement of buildings along the monorail network. Do you guys remember the monorail episode in The Simpsons? <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> monorail, monorail. <laughs> No, it's in range of one another connected. Uh, I'm just trying to think of why I would even need that, though, right now. Where is the beach? Okay, we also, we could use this, but... Uh, what Do I really want to burn everything down? Like, what is wrong with me? Oh, I could burn down the forest that I just planted. Yeah, let's do that. I think that's a good idea. Just burn it down. 
burn it. I'm not sure, really, if this is like a bonus objective or what, but honestly, I'm willing to burn down all of my own creations just in order for a menial goal. Let's see if we can get to 30 degrees. I want coconut palms, and then I'm going to give up on this part. Okay. Oh, no, it needs to be greater than 30 degrees. Jesus. Picky. Man, this is the reason I can't do things like this. I'm supposed to be relaxing, but it's like the, just the anger comes out in me. Oh, uh, we ran out of... No, there we go. Literally the last one. Okay, there come co coconut palms. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has like an oddly Floridian vibe about it. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. We should get the... Th uh, the thunderstorms do... Uh, they do actually provide a major advantage, though. Okay, you want the thunderstorms to occur. It is now, well, occurring to me. Um, uh... I have to puzzle this out. Okay, it is time to unlock thunderstorms. This is the best moment. Now, this does give us more, let's say, renewable resource, or whatever it is. Uh, I don't really care for the dragonflies. If we happen to get them, great. But I think that this is a pretty, uh pretty amazing looking start anyway. Ooh, that's nice. But let's also build a monorail station. Now where do we... Oh, this needs to be on the stone. So monorail node. Let's just build it here to here. I don't really know why. Building to move. Um, so what do we use the monorail node ability? Target... Select a building to move. Oh, we move the building from one monorail to another monorail. Oh my gosh, wow. What an uncommon use of a monorail to build buildings. I wonder what made them pick that. It's fine, I'll allow it. But look, now even the wasteland... I think this does transform wasteland tiles. Uh, check for the ground. Yeah, right there, did you see it? There, there's another one. There's another one, yeah. All of the lands that are were wasteland, and we don't even need to do the thing, or what is it, the the toxin scrubber too. Although this is spreading, no, it is not spreading poop throughout the ocean. I stand corrected. All right, good. All of the elements are at my command. So what does this allow us to do now? Coral from polyps. Oh, what an unconventional word. Burn two more degrees. Oh yeah, could we burn? Yeah, we might be able to burn two more degrees. That's true. For the dragonflies. Let's do it. Now it's worth it. Worth. Uh, hang on a second. I think I can cause a fire in the middle of a rainstorm. I'm... I don't have to obey the laws of physics. Here we go. Four degrees Celsius. So now we get the dragonflies. Uh, we couldn't find the salmon the last time. I didn't see them at all. Where are they? Where are the dragonflies? Imagine they'd be like on the... Oh no, there they are. Cool! You see them, like, flitting around over there? Man, dragonflies are kind of beautiful. And terrifying at the same time. It grows coral from polyps, which can be moved with a monorail. Must be built on an irrigator. Okay, this is interesting. So, now we need to connect the irrigators... ...to the monorails... ...to the ocean, I suppose. So, if we target the monorail... ...and we target the building... Then we can put the... Wow, this is kind of involved. The one thing I would say here... Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I really like this in games. I don't know. I think it's cool. The one thing that I'm finding... Is that there's a lot of steps to do some things. Although that is kind of satisfying. Oh... Like, the result is always really good, and I like it, you know? It's nice. Ooh, that monorail can't connect to that one. That is unfortunate. Why can't those monorails connect? Monorails these days, they just can't, they just can't connect. You know? It's too bad. It's a real shame. Back in my day, monorails could connect, and everything was alright. Everything was A-OK. -okay. Hunky dory, you might even say. But nowadays the monorails just have so much trouble touching each other, getting to know each other. I don't know what I'm saying now. Um, I have no 
feelings about monorails, I swear. Although this game is kind of a trip. Here we go. Okay, now all of the monorails are connected to all of the monorails, and I am experiencing pleasure. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Where is the... Uh... Okay, here we go. Nine. Give me the rest of this forest. Please just take this. Here we go. Okay, good. Now more of the forest will spread. And good. That is enough forest for our forest. Now we must beachify... This is the beach area, right? Okay, so we need beach. Minus 22, that's okay. We don't really need resources at this point in time anymore because we have the occasional rainstorm. And this is very much okay. Let's go ahead and put more of these things down. 16. We don't need so much beach, but look at the beach gradually replacing the beach. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Honestly, I gotta say, maybe it's like the cube formation. Yeah, but uh, I, I'm i liking the... Like, as a YouTuber, I see this game as very... Maybe it's the color palette. There's certain color palettes in games that people just kind of go crazy over and love. And this is definitely one of them. Like, this game has the aesthetic down. It's very pretty. I think the first person I had seen play this game was Nookrium. Which, as you know, Nook has, like, incredible gaming tastes and, like, explores a vast library of indie games. And is a person I like and follow very much. But yeah, I think I had seen him, him do this a few years ago. You should check him out if you haven't already. No! Alas, I cannot get to the monorail with my monorail. Oh, uh, wait a minute. This wasn't so smart of me. Can I get here? You know, the soundtrack to this game is kind of reminding me... This is, is going to sound strange, but I'm I'm thinking of the movie American Beauty by, I want to say it was Thomas Newman, the composer. It really is giving me that kind of vibe. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever watched this movie. It's kind of like a crazy movie. <laughs> I mean, crazy isn't really the right word for it. <laughs> Wild stuff happens in it. Uh, if you do watch it, don't... Blame me for it. It's a good movie, though. It won the Oscar. And it's here. There we go. 66. Okay, so now we're going to ship the thing out to get more coral. And how does this work? Oh, like the Minecraft OST? Yeah, that kind of that kind of similar aesthetic about it. Like, musically. I get that, too, a little bit. Very good soundtrack. Like, not only the uh, the audio effects, but also the the soundtrack itself is very cool. Very cool. Mm, 58, 60... Oh my god, this number keeps coming back up. 69. There we go. I think that's as well as we can do there. What are you thinking of them? I couldn't tell whether it was Biosphere or American Beauty. The reason I know that is because when I was a freshman in college, my writing professor was like super into that soundtrack. And it was odd, I, like I would look for soundtracks that I could listen to while I was writing essays as a student. Because, yeah, I mean, I studied English. As a gamer, I studied English. Uh, I got my BA and BS. And yeah, no, it was just like a very pleasant way to write. So I would listen to that soundtrack and it, just, it brought me back. It brought me back, man. And that's all I was trying to tell all of you. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that from this. Have I said vibe enough throughout this stream yet? I'm pretty sure I've said vibe at least like 50 or 60 times. Now we could have connected all of the monorails, but I think that this is enough monorail for our monorail. Uh, I'll go there because that looks like I'm going to get a healthy spread of coral. And is the rain coming back? Oh my gosh, that effect, whatever it is, that shake and that explosion is just so nice. Like, whoever did all of the animations in this game... Bravo. Amazing. Recycler station to unlock. Okay, so now we've got a... This is supposed to get a little bit more... Oh, it gets easier now. Because we can just connect everything to the monorails. Hang on a second, how do we connect this? 
Oh, we need to place the ship first. For the ship, of course. So let's go ahead and put the ship somewhere nonchalant, like the beach. And then we will put the recycler next to the ship. And then that connects to the monorail network. And then we start to just take everything away. Recycling beacon, and what is this? Rock hopper, moves a rock from one location to another. Oh, that's so useful. My God. Oh, I will need to hop all of them. Will we recycle the monorail itself though? And then need to rebuild the monorail. Let's find out. Here it goes. It's kind of giving me that Borderlands vibe about the graphics too, you know? It's, it's kind of rare to see this, I feel like, the kind of stroke outline. Oh, it does take the monorail from the monorail. I should check out for that. But yes, now it seems that we can do this in greater batches. Um, I find this step to be a little bit boring because I'm just going to be hopping rocks around to try to get to the places where I didn't with the monorail. So I'm going to go back and I'm just going to place a bunch more monorail things and then try to sort this out. I think that this part is kind of boring, so I'm just going to skip through this in the VOD. Okay, I believe that I have ended the sin in this world now. I do get... Oh, no, I forgot those other beacons. I will say that I find this phase to be a slightly tedious, where you have to go pick up everything. But at least they have these useful arrows, but I still... Like, I keep having to rebuild out these lines. I thought that the other level where we did it with the uh, water was a little bit uh, more streamlined, I suppose. Hey, EzekielBot, thank you very much for the five gift subs. I do appreciate that. Ah, thank you very much, Ezekiel Bot. I do appreciate that. If you are getting a gift sub, please be sure to say thanks to Ezekiel Bot. Ezekiel Bot, I hope you're. I hope you've been enjoying the streams. Is this going to extend out there? Yeah, we're gonna be good. Okay, I guess the last thing that we need to do is just get an observatory. And now we won't. I mean, we could terraform more because it's possible that we won't have the requirements. But it's unlikely. Wouldn't that be unlikely? I think it would be unlikely. But here we go, we have completely cleansed the world of sin, or something. Or I always get that feeling like that at the end of these playthroughs. Look at how lush and beautiful it is now. There we go. Okay, animal time. Uh, hmm. Observatory, we'll put the observatory there, although we can recycle that in... Can we recycle from the recycler? No, so then I guess we'll just do this. So we'll eventually clean that up. But let's go ahead and just do some animal observing. Um, let's make some predictions on the animals. I'm thinking this must be a shark. So, coral reef, probably, most probably. Temperature requirement, sonar scan. We still don't know, so we still don't know one of its requirements. Oh no, um, maybe it needs to be near a beach, like looking for people to eat? No, that's not correct. Um, hmm. Man, if I were a shark, where would I be? Looking for delicious people. Let's just scan random stuff to see if we can find out the other one. Okay, in range of at least four mangrove tiles. So are these mangrove tiles? One thing that I can't seem to see, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I don't know if I can actually see what tile type this is when I'm highlighted over it. Is that appearing anywhere on the screen? Or am I just assumed to know? Oh, did I accidentally eat? No, I, uh... Oh, I ate my observatory before. Yes, thank you. I hate it when I eat an observatory. No coming back from that. Oh my gosh. Wow, it was a shark. I was right. Uh, I'm so smart. Oh my god. Wow. Can everyone congratulate me, please? Twisted Slender, thank you very much for gifting the sub to VGA bots. Um, uh, maybe don't... You don't, you don't have to congratulate me, I'm stupid. Um, but what did we find? A deep ocean. This is some sort of, like, a jellyfish, maybe. Oh my god, wow, a whale! Oh my gosh, that's not a jellyfish, that's a whale. What is this reminding me of? Oh, you know what this is? Is the SimCity 4 whales. Because remember how whales are the only, you know, mammals in the ocean. I was gonna say fish. But then I remembered what I learned in school today. That whales aren't fish. 
Didn't that kind of blow your mind when you learned that when you were a kid? I know you thought whales were fish when you were a kid, too. Oh my gosh, a flamingo. I'm back in Florida suddenly. I want to see... Now I'm kind of curious what the other animals are. This is such a fun mini-game. Or, like... Maybe not fun, but okay, I'll say something like slightly critical right now. One thing that I do wonder as I play this game is how is it more than the sum of its parts? I do sometimes wonder that. Although, like, kind of as a puzzle game, I'm not, like, as kind of, uh, like, crazy about that stuff. I do find it extremely visually satisfying. Let's go see if we can find the other things. And I still want to play it, but I kind of wonder, because there is procedural generation, um... I guess I kind of wonder, like, is procedural generation just, like, kind of SOP now, or three river tiles, uh, coral reef tiles? This is going to be an interesting thing here. Remember, I had it, like, right there. What was the other requirement I needed? River tiles. Yeah, this should be the spot. Somewhere like this. Ah, darn. That's hard to get. I, I just want to see what else there is. Or what else? Can I discover this thing? Is this like some sort of tortoise? Okay, 10 beach tiles. What else does it need to be near? Oh my god. Wow, it was a tortoise. I want to see it. There it is. Yurdling and turtling. Although I do get the vibe from this game very much of like, this is extremely satisfying to play after a long, difficult day of people yelling at me at work. You know, I will also say that too. But you know, I, th I think that's, I think that's a question. That's a big question mark worth asking. Um, and part of it too, I mean, I've only gotten through the first two levels. Let's see what else is in store. Though, I mean, also, too, we're kind of in an age when, like, everyone expects games to have some insane replay value. Looking at it as, as, like, a work of art, I think it is beautiful, though. It is objectively beautiful. And I have, indeed, had my mind on the, my eye on this game for years. Uh, let's admire it, though. This is really pretty. And then I'm going to say something very amazing about game development that I don't even understand because I'm not one. Anyway... I was looking into, like, what makes games... Oh my god. Wow! Look at it! I didn't know that we could get this panorama thing. The cubes are beautiful. I like to see... I mean, as a gamer, I love cubes. You know. You should know this. But at the same time... Like, they do come in... All together to something that is more than just voxels, you know? I don't think it's voxels here. I think that this is a simpler system than voxels because voxels are usually reserved for like minecrafty types of things or um seven days to die but yeah no this is very like just as like a work of art this is beautiful um i'm just thinking of like all the incredible games that involve colony management that could come out of this type of engine like i find it really cool and I feel like that either these devs or someone else will, like, make something that... Maybe it's just because I really love simulation games. And that I want everything to be one. But that is a little bit selfish of me. Let's continue a little bit longer. See what else there is to offer in ye old game. Anyway, um, I am an idiot who knows nothing. I guess I'll just start with that. But, yeah, no, I was... I've been getting more into, like, game design recently, because... Before I created a YouTube channel, I was like, oh man, game dev is so cool. I just find the concepts that devs come up with really interesting now, because I get pitched so many games on uh, email now, and I'm like, ah, oh, this looks interesting, or whatnot. But um, yeah, I was looking at Tynan Sylvester's like game dev talk, and he was saying how a lot of the things that we find satisfying in games are like evolutionary. And so with the lack of an objective, like whatever is most existentially satisfying about it to us about gaming, which I mean, life and gaming actually have a lot in common. Actually? I'm gonna say some more crazy stuff. Oh, look, more poop water. But yeah, it's it's kind of funny. It's like we're solving a puzzle, but does it give me like an evolutionary? I don't know. Maybe sometimes I just want everything to be one way. 
but I do kind of get tired of everything being one way. And I kind of applaud them for trying something that I've genuinely never seen in a game before. This is new. This is new stuff. Um, and it is very cool. And I, I do recommend checking this one out. Anyway, let's go on with the number three. Um, uh, let's see. Seismic detonator. Use resonance to excavate a small area will cause fissures in range to erupt. I love your so content, and as a Spanish things? viewer, it's so easy to understand you, and I love your voice. Hey, Templevar, thank you very much for the very kind words in the two months. I do appreciate it. Yeah, that's very nice. Easy to... Yeah, unfortunately, they do get me on all the closed captioning accurately. I think it's funny when they misread it. You know, like they think you said something else. <laughs> Designed to be a gamer. 3D models and 2D sprites. Oh, is it really? Yeah, I was kind of noticing that. How some of the things look a little 2D. I mean, it plays very smooth, boy, on my computer. But now what are we trying to get rid of? We're trying to get rid of the toxicity. Oh, we already had that before. So this is not really anything new. Oh, we're going to put lava on the ice. This is so cool. We're going to get... It does, like, kind of kaleidoscope out into so many more new things. One thing. I just want to check on this really quick before I say any more. I don't know. Is it? So it's not in early, it's, it is now left early access, because I'd been following Terra Nil for a while. So many of the things that we always do are early access, so I, I just, the term gets thrown out way too much. Um, so, I, no, I don't believe that it is. I don't know if there's any, like, I really don't know much of what I'm talking about here, so yeah, do your own research. But yeah, I don't know. Just uh, interesting, interesting stuff. Anyway, um, let's go ahead, and what kind of ground is this? This is dry riverbed so this destroys that for the riverbed we don't even have the option of power right now that's odd what is going to give us power I guess we're going to try to create lava tiles and that's going to do it okay so we have to do it on the fissures yeah looks a daisy ashy nutrients so that causes the fissures to erupt Oh, and then lava spews out of them. So this time, instead of getting water, we're going to get lava. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ashy nutrients. So let's do the highest up ones so that we can feed that into the rest of the... Oh my gosh, wow. I wonder what happens when it reaches the ocean. Let's find out. Uh, geothermal plant provides electricity and melts snow in a large area. Very, very cool. Oh, so now we have another step in the whole process. Very, very nice. I am engaged once again. Yeah, I feel like, um, I guess that is to say, I, I find this game really interesting from a level to level basis. Like right now, I'm, I'm full of a sense of discovery. I'm like, ooh, like I didn't know that, oh wow, look, the water is turning blue. But it also feels like that's a lot of content to have to add to a game in order to create some interest. Although it is like painfully beautiful to play this game. So, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. Oh my gosh, look at that go! Jeez, oh no, I forgot to... Uh, I didn't connect it to the rest of the world. Oh well, never mind. I guess if we do it from up there, there'll be enough lava, and we will connect this one. We won't make the same mistake as we did last time. Good. Explode. And I think that's about all that we need, right? We still got 800. So what are we going to try to do now? Now we're going to get a geothermal plant. Melt the snow. Just trying to see. Is there anywhere that would really be good for it? Um, mm, It's got to be right over it, right? Yeah. So let's put that over there. Melts the snow. And then we need to detoxify it. So now we have like a six-step process. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. Well, then we could plant seeds. This is going to be the strangest looking map by the time we're done. Yeah, spicy river this time. Um, yeah, we are getting back the excavator as a tool here. I'm not sure if we had that in the last time. It does kind of change around your tools, so I am getting that kind of puzzle element about it now. All right, I guess let's focus on... We want to get back some green eventually in time. We are going to end with a controlled burn, too. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. 
but I'm doing it. Uh, or let's just focus on the areas that we can really focus on right here. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, that was kind of an overlap. That was a bit of a waste. You can restart. We haven't had to restart yet because... Oh my gosh, how embarrassing would that be if I had to restart? I'm probably going to have to restart in like five seconds. That being said. Not thinking too hard about this one. Although I suppose this is normal difficulty as well. You know, we're not really breaking any hearts here today. Do another one of these. Maybe there. Mm. 105, 117, 117. Very respectable numbers, very respectable. Like the optional objectives. Ooh, optional objectives. Thank you. Ooh, I wonder if uh, icebergs form. Oh, this is interesting. So we actually want to do this before the... This is interesting. Thank you for saying that. Okay, so yeah, let's see if we can form some icebergs before we do this. So we need to get rid of the toxicity before we do that. So before we melt any more snow, thank you for that. That is helpful. Um, although we did have the lava poop coming out. I'm glad that you said that. Do we have any other ones? But, man, it's hard to believe we'll get butterflies here. You think that the lava will, like, harden? Uh, I have no idea. Let's go ahead and get the toxicity down, though. Whoops. Um, hmm. So I guess just more of these for now. Although, are we going to run out of resources? 67 down to... Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to get it in time. Yeah, only 66%. I might run out of resources before I get to that point. That's my one concern. I might not actually be able to get icebergs from... How much do we need for icebergs formation? Uh, less than 25. I still kind of doubt it. Actually, can anybody see? Make Sand Island a detox station. It's kind of cool, though, that you could go through... Okay, that is a little bit of replayability. If you could go back and... I don't know, like, um... Do things differently. We can get another one of these over here. Have I ever done a Stellaris series? I've done a couple Stellaris videos, but nothing like, uh... Not a big series or anything. I like it. The only thing that's hard with Stellaris for me is that a lot of it is a lot of reading, and it always comes into an interesting story. But sometimes the visuals for me... Uh, actually, there are a good number of visuals. Just in terms of, like, YouTube stuff. A very, like, funny game. Okay, we're now running out of stuff. I'm not sure we're going to be able to get that in time. Ah, that's a shame. Let's just, uh, let's just get more heat out there. This is going to provide us with more heat. Yeah. So now all the snow should melt, right? Oh no, I need one more degree. Never mind. Hm. We could start burning grass. I do love the burning animation. Oh, we got it already. Look at that. That's so interesting whenever the whole environment changes. Oh, that's so cool. That's like that very satisfying moment. I don't know if you guys played... Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll reference another Paradox game. Uh, Surviving Mars is very cool with the eco expansion. Where the planet actually... You've been fighting the planet for so long and trying to get resources. Um, or trying to get it terraformed. But then there's this one breaking point. It comes very late in the game. Where if you manage to get an atmosphere going on Mars... Like... It feels so cool, and the game starts accelerating, and the rains start coming, and people can move outside, and it makes it so much easier to do everything. Because Surviving Mars is a game where it's just desperate for half the game, and it's... Oh, I just love Surviving Mars. It's so cool. And, and this is actually giving me some of those vibes now that I think of it. Um, although the one thing with Surviving Mars, though, I would say is, um, as far as replayability goes... I'll come back to it from year to year, but it's not one that I can always pick up day after day, but that's also kind of a big ask. Okay, what did I... I have messed up horribly. Let's plant some seeds. We gotta get some actual planting. I do like the one undo button, because some of those things feel like... 
be a little bit cruel to not give you an undo button there. Let's just get the 153. That seems pretty good. Have I done a max difficulty surviving Mars run? I'm not sure. The one really difficult run that I did was the one where I couldn't get any more colonists to spawn. Um, I did it about a year ago. I, I guess I didn't think of a very catchy title and thumbnail. The only thing that was tricky about it is that sometimes, after a while, like, for me, all the survive, surviving Mars videos start to feel the same the way I present it. But I love the game so much. Um, yeah, the only thing that I, I struggle with is the rockets are so overpowered in that game. Or, like, the delivery rockets. <laughs> But there's, I just, I know some of the meta. Um, but yeah. Kind of like these science, now we're, now that we're in this territory of all these games about terraforming a planet, science. Science, everyone, look, science. I'm just an idiot. I'm just an idiot with a microphone. Um, me! Which is why I make sounds like that. I couldn't think of anything to say, so I just started making tribal... <laughs> uh, na -na 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 -na. Awesome segue. I don't remember... I don't even know what other topic we're going to segue into. So let's just talk about the game again. <laughs> oh, here we go. We could get some more of the ocean. We haven't even done any of this yet. Okay, that's good. Nice. Okay, good. This will seem normal if I continue to do it. Oh my god. I've watched some of my own VODs and I sometimes just think, how does he continue to say things? Because <laughs> when I'm watching it, I'm not in the same mode as when I'm naturally so loquacious. Mm. Oh no. Oh no, I got some nostril irritation. You know what happens when you accidentally pull out a nose hair and then you just start sneezing? insanely. Oh, that's happening to me right now. Except the sneezes aren't coming. Oh my god. I have suffered. I have suffered. That does happen, though. But yeah, Surviving Mars is another one to check out. And that is a full game, man. Or like a... I guess I should say like a Paradox game. Which is a big game. They really do embark on these ambitious projects. I, I'm trying to think of when all these... Were all those games released? Like, City Skylines, what was that? 2015? Here I go. I'm going off on other games. I don't know. We cover a lot of city builders on this channel. So I, th I think it's worth saying. I sometimes do regret that, though. You know, we've done so many... Um, new game showcases and things like that. That I sometimes find myself sending like a broken record. Just relating everything back to... The great corpus of gaming. But it partially does relate to the quest to play every game. After all, that is why I, one of the re main reasons I created a YouTube channel was... Uh, I had so many games in my Steam library and I couldn't play any of them. I was like, ah, I'll never have the time. <laughs> why don't I create a channel? And several years later, here I am. Still just talking to myself and... Alone. Um... <laughs> And that's th exactly how it's been. No, I'm not alone. I have you. Now, I've been, uh... Actually, I was spending a lot of time on my own. Now I'm gonna go... This game is very relaxing to play, so I'm just gonna start talking about it myself. Oof. No, I was pretty much, like, uh... I was kind of grinding out videos for a while. Until this last year. But now I'm feeling a little bit more like, hey... Like, this is pretty fun. I've got a cool thing going, and, uh, I don't know. I just sought more, like, activities outside of just YouTube. I think this is normal for most side hustles. That's all that YouTube really is. It's just been a side hustle. It's somehow continued to exist for me. And here I am. Almost seven years later after I said, wow, has it really been that long? Jesus, I'm turning into a fossil now. I've been making videos for seven years, guys. Nearly seven years. The main channel doesn't include my brief stint in 2016, which, during which time I had another channel, which will not be named. You can go find it for yourself. All right, here we go. Dehumidifier. 
Hanlo, been a uh, fan of the YouTube for a while, not recently jumped to say, hey, thanks very much for coming out, Sky Grizzle. Yes, important to be well-rounded in life. This is, yea, verily, indeed true. Water out of the surrounding vegetation, the lower the ambient humidity. <laughs> now, what are our goals? Water our goals. Um, snowfall begins, we need humidity, oh, no, greater than, greater than 40%, greater than 40%. So why would we want to get rid of the humidity? Hang on a second. Flash freezer. Freezer's ready. From, oh, because then we could get the glaciers. Sorry, I've never actually heard the word pronounced. So my best estimation is that it is glaciers. There we go. Okay, give me grass, man. Plus 22. Um, and now we need to detoxify the ocean because it, it stinks in there. Who is getting the- Oh, these have all been connected to geothermal plants. You know, I'm also just noticing that I've not even been counting how many buildings can connect to these things. Which is quite bad. I probably could have saved myself a lot of pain if I had noticed that before, but I did not. Ooh, 99%. Now, oh, where else can we take this? Okay, here's a good spot. We didn't cover this at all yet. Yes, 34. Oh my gosh, yes, the pleasurable animation. Yeah, glass ears. What's wrong with you guys? You don't read or something? I, it's because, like the curse of someone who reads too much but never gets out is that they don't know how to say the words. You encounter this a lot when you're in school is just people saying words wrong. <laughs> oh my God. The curse of overeducation creates tundra in range. Tundra will grow. Oh, so we're getting like uh, not only everything needs to warm up, but cooling things down too. This looks oddly like SimCity 3000 if we just made a bunch of mistakes. You know what I'm? You feel me on that? Something about the isometric graphics too. Okay, uh, tundra will grow sufficiently low humidity and high elevation. Must be built on an irrigator. Okay, so good conditions. I guess we're sort of in that right now. Affects tundra growth. Ivy growth. Oh, this one does a whole ring around it. Jesus Christ. That's terrifying. Oh, we're going to do the monorails again? The monorail... I was okay with the monorail. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, it can move with the monorail. That is illegal. Igneous. Oh my gosh, this is one of the three types of rock, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that is kind of like an Ice Nine sort of invention. Wow. Terrifying, honestly. Um, so is it telling me the conditions? Good, good conditions. Could it be like optimal? I suppose that's fine. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, where am I supposed to put these? Oh, on one of these. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, hmm, 161. There we go. And Bob's your uncle. Oh my god, look at that. That's kind of nice. Ooh, what is this reminding me of, though, too? What are these, like, geometric forms? It's like, just... Such a beautiful visual game. I hope they do more stuff, because this is just, like, so amazing. I want to I wanna play an FPS game, or, like, a colony manager in this graphical universe. Maybe it's just me. I don't want to sound so biased against puzzle games. I think I made my bias quite clear at the beginning, though. Am I? Is that fair of me, chat? Only one of the... Yes. Igneous. Metamorphic. And, of course, pet rocks. Just kidding. Sedimentary. Knew that. <laughs> Science. Um, igneous heat sink. What do I want more, though? Let's get the tundra first. I'm saying tundra. The tundra is very colorful. Extremely much so. This will end the tundra requirements. There we go. So th there is enough of it now. 110%. So boreal forest, kelp forest. I don't even know what I'm doing with these, really. To be completely honest with you. Let's go ahead and do... Why would I want to do this, though? Oh, I need rock tiles to do it. Okay, so, um... 
YOLO. Try that. Rockify. Oh no. I feel so cold and alone when things turn to rock. Uh, there's not really as, as much of an opportunity for rock over here. I probably could have done that thing with the excavator, but... Okay, what did, what, what did we get unlock here? If this is to be my downfall, maybe I'll mess one up and we'll get to the end of what my brain is capable of in this game. Creates lichen on rocks in range. Do I like RTSs? I love RTS games. Mm, via monorail... Why is it tempting me with the monorail so much? Clean Ocean grows kelp for us. Must be built on an irrigator. Okay. Oh, so this is basically, we take the kelp from the rocks and then we put it into the ocean. So similar to the Hawaiian adventure. Okay, on the one hand, cool. On the other hand, I do kind of feel like we experienced this already with the uh, tropical zone. It feels a little bit like a reskin, but I'll play along in your amazing game. Um, now, where do there be monorails, though? <laughs> Maybe, do you, can you imagine if, when they were making this game, they were just, like, having a... <laughs> like, uh, they were just all watching the Simpsons monorail episode. I really suspect that, that it was just a bunch of people who love the Simpsons monorail episode. <laughs> I do, too. I do, too. So that lava just kind of sticks around there. Okay. Um. Oh, we're going to need more of those, though. Though. Let's carve out lava, then we'll do this, and then we'll make space for the monorails to travel hither and thither around the map, because we will cover everything in stone. We could do another, maybe another radial excavator. Although, I don't want to mess that thing up. And we don't really need lava for the environment. You know? So let's do that. Have I made a horrible mistake yet? Hopefully, soon. It's always interesting when I make a horrible mistake. Hmm. Will there be enough lichen? Almost. Almost. Methinks... This will be enough. Yes, check mark. Very cool. Uh, kelp forest, so now we need, well, we're going to have to somehow get the boreal forest. Hmm. Igneous heat sink, I think I'm good there. Algae greenhouse. Uh, oh no, my monorails. Oh, my monorails. How could I forget my monorails? I couldn't, but there they go. So now we know that we need to connect the entire map via monorail. Otherwise, we will be damned to hell. So let's connect everything via monorail before I we even begin to think of what to do next. I will say, I think that this level is a little bit better designed because it's so much easier to get so much rock. Though also, maybe I just lack gaming and critical thinking skills. You ever think about that? Like you... And then you realize that you're obnoxious. Like, you have such a well-thought-out critique of a game, but you lack the skills to realize that you're just dumb. Like, that happens to me a lot now. <laughs> and I, I know people will watch this VOD and be screaming at the TV because I get these comments from time to time of like, Oh, you missed the most obvious thing, you smooth brain. Like, <laughs> And, yeah, I am full of shame. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Uh, there's no redeeming end to that. Sometimes Happy that's just the way it goes. My favorite e -girl. Thank you, Unique Salad. Who's that? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. I'm the e- I'm not an e-girl. <laughs> oh no, why did I make this a running joke on the stream? <laughs> Had to be there for the Kenshi VOD. Oh no. <laughs> what will I do next? I really have a lot of issues. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god, look! We're going into the ocean! Oh my god. My father would be so proud of me if he could be- I mean, he could be here right now. He could be in chat. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't know 
what I do for a living. No, that's not true. <laughs> My father learned what I do for... Hey, uh, I think I always told him I never kept any of YouTube, like, secret. But he's 72, so he he had a hard time figuring out what was going on. Like, what are, what are, what are you even making? Oh my god. What do you tell your dads that you do? Dad, I'm an e-girl. Hmm. Hmm, nope. Okay, the detoxification of the nation must commence over yonder. And now... How come this is not authorized? Oh, we need to get more heat. Okay, so we need to shoot out more lava into everyone's face. Okay, so now, okay, now the lack of lava is beginning to affect me, though. Oh, look, we even got some of the polar ice caps. That is interesting. But look at this. What will happen when the lava collides with the ice? That I'm a landscaper. Well, I used to... When I first moved towns, I, I didn't know what to tell people. I said, I'm an independent contractor. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad answer. Not a bad answer. I'm a dependent contractor. I ask other people for help. And here we are. This map, I am not finding quite as lush as the last. But are we able to... Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Okay. The connections. It'd be nice if you could build power lines, but... I guess that's the point of it being a puzzle game. To be fair. Um... Uh, I need to burn the grass, but not destroy all of the lichen. Where can I do that? I'm afraid I'm going to burn down the entire... Well, you know, I'm going to save this for the end, because it's probably going to happen. And I'm going to be sad. So I just kind of want to see what happens before I do that. Okay, let's get the kelp forests up. Let's pretend like there's nothing wrong. And... Oops, can't do that there. Target valid. You know, I was kind of... Mm, no. I guess we could do it there. But what are the requirements of the kelp forest? I was thinking it was just water. Oh, here we go. We can do one of these here. Oh, no. We... Uh, I might have kind of screwed myself for this one. Let me see. see we're going to have to carve out more lava over everything. Yeah, now we may start to really mess ourselves up. Okay, the lava is spreading. Ah, uh, but I kind of messed it up here. Uh, maybe not as bad as I thought. Maybe not as bad. Almost as bad, though. Okay, are we able to... Oh, we can put this over the tundra. Okay, never mind. There still may be hope. And then we just bring the kelp over here. We get the poop out of the ocean. See, this lava carving is where I messed up. I may have messed this one up. Hmm. I'm sorry. The poop water. All right, let's give it another... Sh let's give it one more try, though, here. Let's see if we can pick up this thing and put it into the ocean. In place of range of it. Oh, whoops. We got to build more monorails. Mm. Like, when this game is going, it's flowing, you know? The poop is flowing. But when it's not, I do kind of feel like it slows down. But then I am encountering the stupid, the stupidity in my brain. Hmm. Though that happens when you play Factory. For, fac, factory. Factory. Factorio. When you first play Factorio, you're like, oh my god, how am I so smart? I deserve something, you know? And then when you're done playing Factorio, you're like, I have a lot of issues. I think I'm gonna have to get an IQ test. I might not make it out in the real world. Or at least that's what's happened to me. Here we go. Oh my god, look at all of the terrain. Yes, we've done it. The kelp floor. The kelp florist. 
I wonder if that's a job. Like a florist, but of kelp, you think? Oh, yeah, I could be an e-boy. I forget, but that's also an option. No, I tried being an e-boy for a few years. It didn't work, guys. That was back, like, the 2017 to 2019 AA. Some of you do remember it. Some of you do remember it. <laughs> Too much competition. Too much competition. All right, let's control the forest fire. Famous, this is gonna be the end. <laughs> Oh, this won't end well. Okay, let's put the fire... Oh, we have to burn the lichen? What the hell? Okay, this is not good. Alright, uh... You only live once. Dude, that's just regular dirt over there. Why did the fire spread that way? I'm willing to accept this as an answer. Okay, let's put the forest there. Post fire. Okay. We can do another one. I think I may be able to get to the end of this atmosphere. Uh, we did- we would get snowfall. Less than negative five degrees. We really didn't do the optional goals here, which is why this one stunk. Man, uh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> it sounded like I was on the verge of tears there. <laughs> I'm just gonna start crying if I fail the challenge. Oh, God. <laughs> you ever do that? You cry when you're playing a game? Idiot. I did that when I was a kid. I started crying to my mom because I couldn't beat NFL Street. It was like the worst day. <laughs> and then I beat it. And I, then I grew up, you know? Been exactly that way ever since. Now we're running out of tundra. What else can we burn? I thought that the grass was for the burning. Okay, I guess we have to burn more. Burn it all. Because that can't be set fire to, but then it spreads to the like. No, it Frog. doesn't spread to the like when I stand corrected. Hey, Michael the Cycle! Hey, thank you very much for the sub, Michael the Cycle. That's... Uh, you know, I mean, I say it a lot, but that's also a great name. I do like that name. Michael the Cycle. Are you really THE Cycle? What about, like, Michael the Vicious Cycle? Is that like your Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? <laughs> I'm running out of commentary. I do, I will say, I will end this with that, though. Because I think this will be the last one that we do of, um... Hang on a second. Do I have more? I have more opportunities here. Or I will end on this one. But yeah, I don't really do more puzzle games like this. Because I just feel like I run out of things to say. Um... They're very, like, meditative experiences, these types of games, and I do love them for personal reasons. But I also... So oh, hang on a second. Where am I supposed to put this? But as a streamer, I do some... As a gamer, as a streamer, I do sometimes struggle with, like, how do I really show this game in its best light? You know? That is to say, all of the things that I pick out on this channel are pretty much top shelf. So, like, I wouldn't be, if it weren't, like, an A-tier game, I wouldn't be playing it. So I hope that that at least sounds as a recommendation. But also, like, puzzles. Puzzle games, you know? Why do I like that? And yet, why am I attracted to them, too? Here we go. Alright, it wouldn't be an AA video if there weren't an existential consideration of why we were playing the game, though. So I think that, in that, I take great comfort. Oh my god. Even without the snowfall. Now I just feel bad because I didn't get snowfall. We should really try to get that. So what do I need to do? I need to up the humidity. How was I going to up the humidity again? Let's see if we can get that. Raises... Oh, man. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't really mean to end it, like, on this note, but I feel as though uh, we kind of worked against ourselves in this last scenario, and now I am struggling a little bit more. I think because freezes surrounding vegetation, lower atmosphere, form ice and clean water. Oh, you know what we did? Oh, we should have done the humidifier right away. That would have been the thing. Okay, let's go see if... It just goes to show that if you get the environment on your side, 
and you pull the Al Gore kind of strategy, you know? Like, Al Gore, basically modern-day Lorax. Um, remember Al Gore, everybody? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the snowfall to begin now. So we have got... Oh, we're running out of money, aren't we? Let's get a flash freezer. There we go. Okay, snowfall is going to begin. Oh my god. Get the environment on your side, and then... They'll make a movie about it, and then you can run for president. Migratory bo boards. <laughs> boards. <laughs> it's like I invented a new name for birds. Uh, look, everyone, it's the... B I know it's burb, but boards. I just kind of want to see that. Wow, wait a minute. Is that the snowfall? No, where is the, s where is the goddamn snowfall? Like the angriest puzzle relaxing game plan. What is my problem? Mr. Vice President, someone finally got bought a copy of your book. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we can speed up time. Can we get snowfall that way? Maybe it's just maybe the snow is just shy. Are we do we need to maintain these conditions too? I was wondering. Snowfall begins. Yeah, yeah. I guess we need to wait for a Christmas miracle. Because, yeah, some of these requirements are kind of... <gasps> oh my gosh! Wow, it's like Christmas! I do love games with great weather effects. I gotta say that. Okay, good. Now we're getting, like, basically... Overgrowth. That's so cool. See, to me, that's so beautiful. Now this is a simulation. Okay, to me, yeah, like, when it takes a while, whatever. But... This isn't just a puzzle game. This is kind of a simulation right here on account of all of this stuff. So, I don't know. Disregard some of my one. I think that this is a cool game. Although, I would be kind of curious about, like, replay value. Going back and doing some of the same scenarios again. Um, I would be interested in, like, how... How that is operative here. But, ooh, ah. The satisfying crunch of the snow. Ooh, and an Aurora, too. What does that look like? Hang on a second. Well, we can't do this. Ivy overgrowth. We went to this. Ooh. Oh, my God. It's like a laser beam in the sky. Terrifying. Isn't that so, so cool? I do wish it covered the ground, though. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can find some of the animals. I found this, this one to be a little bit similar to the last one, but still... It's cool. What have we got? We've got some sort of, like, Pokemon to find here. Uh, we do have the requirements of the snow. Snow boy. Oh, look, there's the snow on the ground. Wow, it's starting to spread. The snow is spreading, everyone. Oh, isn't this magical? Man, this reminds me of, like, waking up to big snow drifts against the windows when I was a kid. And then you found out that it was a snow day. Remember when you had to watch the news to find out if your school got off and they didn't just email everybody? I think those were magical days before the internet. I am unfortunately not a Gen Z, you know? I remember a time before the internet. Ooh, okay, we got this. What is this? Some sort of owl? The wise elders of the woods. Yeah, I miss the world before the internet, you know? Like, there's too much access to everything now. Something about just playing a Game Boy Advance game, you know? And not knowing what to do. Not knowing what to do. Alright, I feel like I'm starting to just kind of scan some similar stuff here. I know I'm gonna end up doing the cleanup here, so let's kind of like... Um, I feel like I've kind of exhausted my number of interesting things to say. I kind of wanted to get to the end of this tutorial, so I'm going to kind of skip ahead there. But yeah, um, like, ditto everything that I said. Um, I don't know, I think this has been a, a cool one to kind of explore. And I wanted there to be a little bit more explanation, exclamation, uh, exploration, because I just felt like, I don't know. Um, yeah, I am kind of curious about the replay value thing. Or maybe it's not even there, in which case, like, it's just a beautiful experience for what it is. Okay, I have saved the planet. And I am amazing. I, I do find that cleanup phase to feel a little bit like a chore. Um, I don't really get too much out of it. Like, if there were some kind of more interesting part to the cutscene, I guess I'd feel 
differently, but I do really like the snowfall mechanic. I don't think I brought that out. I think if more things are like the snowfall mechanic, um, or like the rainfall mechanic, where the environment actually helps you once you've done a certain amount, which again, I think is like that kind of surviving Mars terraforming feel, and I think that's a very cool thing, and I think that's what the spirit of this game is about, but yeah, you know, like, um, we'll see if I end up doing any more of it. Um, I don't really know how many levels there are. I've gotten up to three if there's a lot more content and people like it. I could return, although I'd kind of be curious as to what happens in the next level. Um, or we could just appreciate a good thing. But yeah, Terra Nil.